And finally tonight, this is one for the history books. A group of women shattered a glass ceiling or make it a kind of stratospheric ceiling. They were the first Air Force completely female combat mission, showing their stuff at 600 miles per hour in the dangerous skies of Afghanistan. And Martha Raddatz has their story. Okay, so we've got some high peaks, mountains to work with. They dubbed the mission Dudette 7, and for good reason. From the planners, to the pilots, to the weapons officers, to the maintenance crew, there was not a dude in sight. Everyone involved in this two-ship F-15E combat mission was a woman. We knew we were going to take off in support of guys on the ground. Most likely that we were going to have to drop some bombs. And what a mission it was. As our Mike Betcher saw from the ground, the fighting in the Kunar province was intense. The air support from the F-15s adding a layer of protection and firepower vital to the soldiers' success and apparently made all the better given that the voices from the cockpit were female. It was nice for the ground guys to hear that they had, you know, women protecting them, of course. Not that we're any different than the guys, but it's just, you know, a guy thing that they like to hear that sometimes. In fact, of the more than 14,000 pilots in the Air Force, only 687 are females. But women have been flying combat missions for 18 years now, which does kind of make you wonder why, after all these years, the Air Force still refers to all its personnel as airmen when so many air women are changing history. Martha Raddatz, ABC News.